I have a different desk today and that's because for this video I'm actually filming this at home. I've moved home for the summer so you're no longer going to be seeing my personally to me ugly wood college desk. No, you're going to be seeing me use my beautiful white desk that I have here at home that I'm very very happy to be back at. I'm going to be opening another Smarter box. This is the May box. It arrived yesterday and I've been waiting to open it. I'm very very excited to see what's in here so I'm going to get right on into it and see what kind of art I make with the stuff in here today. Also side note because I am home it it's quite likely you might get some cameos of my cats because my cats like to frequent my desk and while I'm filming they may pop up here so that's totally a possibility. If my cats show up, they show up. So you may get to see my cats. Let's get right on into this. All right, what do we have for this month? Ooh, what do I see here? I have no idea what this is. This could be literally any sort of pouring. This could literally be acrylic pouring. This could be metallic paint. This could be ink. I have no idea what this is. What is that? There is a container. Okay, this is interesting packaging. This is the sticker for this box. Again, I don't know what this is. What is this? Green tea? Is it, is it, is this tea? Did they send us tea as a snack? Huh, it's tea. Ooh, metallic markers. Okay, what do we have here? I know this brand. I like like this brand. Where did I get one of those before? Was it this one? It was. Smart Art has previously sent markers with this brand. This is a black paint marker that they actually sent me in the very first box that I received from them. So it looks like I'm getting more and it looks like they're all metallic colors. It's like they're all metallic colors. So that's going to be really, really interesting. Oh, that looks cool. I wonder if we're doing like, are we doing pouring again? Are we doing acrylic pouring? Is this plastic? What is this? It's like foggy plastic. I don't know why it's in bubble wrap. Maybe it's in bubble wrap to try to protect it from breaking? Plastic. I'm confused, but I'm willing to see what this is. There's some black stuff. It's just black paper. This is just straight up black paper. It seems pretty thick. All right. Is this white paper? Let me close that real quick. Is this white paper? This almost feels like poster board. It feels like a whole bunch of cut up poster board. What is this box? I'm gonna move the box for now so I can figure out what this is supposed to be. It's a nice container though. Look at this container. Oh wait, there's something inside. What's under here? Okay, wait, what is this? Okay, there's a giant bag. Um, I think those are gloves. There's some wooden dowels here. Oh, this is, that's heavy. Oh geez, these are heavy. How do I get in here? This is sealed really well. What is this? Marble paint. Warning, read, wait, why is is there a warning? Why is there a warning? Wait, where's the warning? What does it say? Keep out of reach of children. Well, luckily I only have the mind of a child. I am not physically a child. Solvent-based paint used with water creates marble patterns. Shake well. Okay, so it looks like we're doing acrylic pouring, but with marble paint? I don't know how this works at all. Um, there's six colors here. I can smell them. I can already smell them. They smell really strong. Okay, um, instruction manual. I'm gonna need your help for this one. I don't know what I'm looking at here. I need some assistance. What am I doing? What is this? It's something from Japan. Suminagashi? Sumi Suminagashi? Suminagashi? I hope I'm saying that right. Delicately swirled patterns created from floating ink on the surface of water. Okay, so we have, okay, these are the paints. Marbu Easy Marble. Drip, swirl, dip, and done. It adheres to paper, glass, plastic, metal, wax, wood. Paper mache, this, whoa, this does this attach to everything? Wait a minute, does this have like a little drip? thingy? Is that how it works? Oh, I see. It has the exact same shape as essential oils. This is the exact same way that essential oils are designed. I drip them. Okay. These are the markers, the four-piece set. Paint like finish, high fidelity from wet to dry. Just like oil paints that can be reworked when dry to create shading, fading, and color gradients. Ooh, interesting. Great for use on canvas, wood panels, or paper. They can use be drawing, outlining, filling in large areas, glazing, mixed media, and more. Okay, these are post postcard paper. Okay, I get it. I thought it was like poster board, but it's actual like postcard paper. It's actually like postcard paper. Acrylic sheets? Apparently these are called acrylic sheets. According to this, is it just literally like a sheet of dried acrylic? This is not transparent as glass. This thing lies. It says right here, sheets are as transparent as glass. Yeah, I don't think so. The easy marble paint is toxic and will make contact with the receptacle, therefore it cannot be used to hold food beyond this project. 
What? Why have I been given toxic materials? I have been given toxic art supplies. This is the perfect one for me to be filming at home. This is, this is obviously the best one to be filming in my house where my parents can find out what I'm doing. Oh yes, parents, I'm just, I'm making art with toxic materials. <laughs> you choose the colors and then you drip them into the water and then you basically swirl it around and then you dip the surface of like the paper into it. Okay, this is gonna be very, very interesting. This is gonna be an adventure for sure. I have never done anything like this before and I'm a little scared about the toxic paints here. I guess that's why they gave us gloves. I think the one size fits all label doesn't apply to me. My hands are tiny. I guess something I can do right now is shake these up really well. I don't see why I can't do that. I suppose I can also open these and see what these look like on paper because I'd like to know what the metallic markers do look like. This is actually great. I've been wanting to get more metallic markers. Is this the same one that I already have? Brilliant gloss. I might have one of these already. Yeah, it's the same one. I now have two of this marker, which is awesome because I love this marker. Then there's a bright white, so I'm assuming this will be a really, really, hopefully really opaque white paint marker. And then we also have a silver, a gold, and a copper. I'm excited to see these. I'm really excited about the gold. I've been struggling to find a good gold paint pen. So this is going to be really, really cool. I could probably find something just to swatch on real quickly. I could sacrifice one of these little sheets. I could sacrifice one of these just to do some swatches of the paint markers. That could work. I could also, like, I guess, directly drip the paint onto this. It says it's toxic, so I might do it in the little container here just to be safe when I actually do that part. But I think I'll do it just so I can see what the colors themselves actually look like. I think that would be beneficial. Look at you checking out the things that you're not supposed to get into. I see you. You are not coming up to the desk. You are not coming up to the desk. The instruction manual said it would be best if I worked in a ventilated area. And I do have vents, but I opened my window as well. So if you hear any strange background noise, that is the wind because it is really, really windy right now. But I do have ventilation, so at least I won't be exposed to too many toxic fumes, am I right? This is gonna be really annoying. I can try starting by swatching on the postcard paper. I think this is the correct side. Just know, I would absolutely do this outdoors if it weren't raining, but it is raining. I am worried about it being toxic, but I'm just gonna have to live with it. I'm also gonna have to prep all of these, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I'm gonna have to prep it. I'm pretty sure these prep pretty quickly though. See that? Yep, it's already prepping. That's another thing I really, really like about these paint markers. They prep really, really fast. Hello there. Oh, it's so glossy. I love it. It's so smooth. I thought Posca's were my favorite paint pens, but these completely He's completely Tosca out of the ballpark. At least in my experience, the black one is really good. I've never gotten to try the metallic ones before, so this is gonna be very interesting to try, especially since I've been looking for a new gold pen. Okay, that's a solid gold. I like that. I'm very picky about my gold. Sometimes when you're using paint pens, they look kind of green, or sometimes they look too yellowy gold, like goldenrod color. But this is a nice one. I like how I like the pure neutralness of this gold. It's really nice. It's not leaning too far into the oranges. It's not leaning too far into the greens. I like it. Copper next. I've never had a copper paint pen before. I do have a copper gel pen. I don't think I've ever had copper paint before. That is really brown. I'd say that's a good copper color. I like it. I am very much an earthy neutral tones person. I really, really like earthy neutral colors. So this is actually a really, really nice palette so far. I really like that copper color. I may be using this a lot in extra stuff in other things because this is a nice color. I really like that copper. It just adds, it adds something. It looks really good. I love that copper. I don't normally have any strong opinions about silver. Silver is just there. It's not extremely flashy, but it's not, it's not my favorite, nor is it my least favorite metallic color. It's just there. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing great with it either. I'm just not personally a huge silver person, but I'd say that's a nice silver. But the copper has stolen everything from me. I love this copper. Silver's fine. The silver's fine. I'm just, the copper though, the copper's nice. Copper's really nice. It's probably gonna take a minute for that to dry, so what should I do in the meantime to test the why? It's good there's some some black, potentially some black marker on top of it. Could try that. I do have a black Copic marker I can use here. So I would like to see how it layers on top of it. So I know a Copic marker doesn't work the best on poster board or postcard paper, whatever this is. It feels like poster board paper. I'm going to assume it's the same material. Let's let that dry. I suppose I can work on getting it prepped in the meantime. Cause once I get it all prepped and pumped up, then I'm not gonna need that much pressure in it. I just need to be able to see what it looks like. I wanna make sure that it looks nice and opaque. Oh, wow. 
I was not expecting this white to look that good. I have had very, very bad luck with paint pens that are white. I've just never found any that have, I've just never found any that have been opaque enough for me. So this is really, really interesting. I'm gonna test it on top of the others. It does not really want to apply on top of the others, I'm noticing. It's also drawing a little bit yellow on top of the Copic marker. I don't know if that's because of the alcohol and whatever's in here are mixing. I don't know if that's anything to do with the paint pen itself. I don't know if that has anything to do with the black Copic marker. I don't really know. It is a really nice white though. I like that. If I pull it up close, you can see here. It's not really wanting to apply to the black. It applies to the others nicely, but with the black paint marker specifically, it seems like it just doesn't really want to apply. So that's interesting to note. Well, I now have a new favorite paint marker. This copper paint marker has stolen my heart. I don't know why I like it so much. I just do. I think I'm going to use this one a lot. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place I think I'm gonna place this inside here, remove these, and try dripping it onto the paper. I should probably wear gloves for this part because it does look toxic. This is just to run a little test. Do I just tip it over like I would essential oil? Oh, so that's how that works. I don't think I'm gonna be in all that much control in this situation. Let me grab the little wooden stick thing. I'm just spreading it around a little bit just so I can see the color. Again, this is just to see what the colors look like, not to make any actual art. Let's try the yellow next. Oh, there we go. Got some yellow. I'm sure it'll look different once it's mixed with the water and stuff too. Green. I'll move it over here. Oh, yeah, the green works. The green definitely works. It seems just like ordinary colors right now. Very, very bright, vibrant yellow. Let's try the light blue. I like this blue. It's very, very soft. Oh, okay, that drips everywhere. And now for the color that matters most to me, purple. This is the one that will determine my opinion. I don't care if it splatters everywhere. I just gotta see it. It's purple. If the purple does not look good, then I'm not gonna be happy. I love, I just love purple. I like that it's more of a neutral purple too. It's a very eggplant purple and eggplant purple is one of my favorite tones of purple. I love eggplant purple. I'm assuming this can move. Oh yeah, it moves. It definitely moves. It moves a lot. So I'm gonna have to be really, really careful. This is gonna be really messy. I'm probably gonna have to get some newspaper or something to go underneath or a whole bunch of paper towels or something to protect my desk. Cause I have a feeling this is gonna be really, really messy as I pull the paper out. Hello, you're not supposed to be in here. Say it in, I'm warning you, you better not jump up there. You're jumping straight up there. Don't jump up there. If you're going up there, I'm gonna block you. Yeah, that's right, sit in the window. Sit in the window, say it in. I'm now living in constant fear of you doing Doing something that you are not supposed to do because I can't trust you with anything. I actually have a very interesting idea. I'm not gonna be able to start filming these until tomorrow because it sounds like we're gonna be doing a family movie night watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I think I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to focus more time on filming this and creating art with it. So basically what I think I'm going to do is looking at these colors, I have come to a idea. And I got my idea actually based on the sticker that came in this box. I got an idea based off of the sticker. So I got an idea idea based off of the sticker that came with the box. I was thinking, okay, what can I make that would look really, really interesting, really, really cool, and be nice for a video that I can use for practical use in the future? And I looked at this sticker and I thought, oh, I can use this as a background. I can use whatever I come up with as a background, and I could do lettering and signs and cool stuff like that with this. Or what I could do is I can use either the black paint pen or the white paint pen, depending on what I'm doing, and I can make everything around the letters be a solid color. So I could do some really, really cool cool pop art abstract lettering with this. And it would be really, really cool. And it would perfectly match as our decorations for our hall theme in college next year because I'm staying in the same hall that I was in this last year. I'm gonna be in a different room, but it'll look basically exactly the same. However, I'm roommates with the RA and we decided our theme is going to be Spider-Man. And one of our huge things that we're going for is a whole abstract spray paint pop art theme. And so it would be really, really cool if we can make wall decorations with all these little posts cards and stuff that look like abstract and have cool words on them and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make them have like different words on them and stuff. I think it's gonna be really, really cool. I am inspired. I am so excited. Of course, when I want to start filming, two of you come in here. Of course, of course you're in here as soon as I want to start filming. All right, it is Friday. I have got my workspace all set up. I've got some newspapers here just to protect my desk in case anything spills. I've got the container here with some water in it. So now I'm just gonna have to figure out how to make this work. So since the theme is Spider-Man, I think I want to start just Spider-Man colors, which of course is red. So I'm gonna have to figure out how this all works. I honestly don't know how to make this work. I'm assuming just dripping is what you're supposed to do. Going with the blue, perhaps? It's not a dark blue, which I find 
a little sad. I wish I could have had a dark blue because Spider-Man's blue is a dark blue. I think you're supposed to rotate it around like this, like moving the pigment. This is weird. It almost feels like I'm using the liquify tool of digital art. Like this feels like a traditional version of liquefying. That's thick. That is really junky. Okay, uh, let me wipe that off. And then I believe the next thing that you do is you just take the paper and then you just put it face down. I think you just literally just put it face down. I think that's how it works. I don't know how long I'm supposed to keep it there. Maybe I should grab a second one of the little things. I'm afraid of touching it with these gloves on. Okay, I'm gonna try grabbing it from the pointy ends. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's getting soaked. I dropped it. Oh, it looks cool. Oh, whoa, it literally just like soaks up all of it. Oh, that's weird. It looks really cool though. I've never seen anything that acts this way before. Okay, I'm gonna call that my test. I do really like the colors though. The colors are really, really cool. I'm gonna try this again and I'm gonna see if I can make it not have the white around it. Like, I don't want these white areas here. I don't want that at all. That looks like a good portion of it got on the back too. So I guess just drip more red in there. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to use. I am getting paint over all of these. It's so messy. I don't want it to fall in. Put it face down. I don't know how long I'm supposed to make it sit there. Again, I just don't know. If I tap the edges, it'll help. Get like the paint to apply. Oh, it's going over. It's going over. Let's pull it up now. Don't drip it. Oh, I dropped it again. Jeez. I keep dropping it. This is so hard. This is so incredibly difficult. It looks really, really cool. It looks awesome. I just don't know how to make it not fall. Look at this. It looks awesome. And these gloves are getting ruined so quickly. I might have to switch to smaller gloves just to make this easier because these are kind of getting in the way. Okay, I got some better gloves. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to keep going with the Spider-Man colors because I think that could work really, really well. Try more of a drippy pattern this time. Maybe get a little bit more red in there. That looks really, really interesting. I might just have to go like, I might just have to literally dip my hands in there to pull it out. I think that's that's the only way I'm gonna do it without it just spilling everywhere. I think that's the only way I'm gonna make it not fall in, honestly. Let's get some more red in there. Tap the edges, pull it out. It was not done. There's white areas. I don't like that. I wonder if I could just drip the paint on there to fix that. Just like add a little bit of red, you know? I can try to make it act like acrylic pouring maybe because it's still a little bit wet. I can just fill out these areas here. That would be great. I, I will master this. I am, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure out how to make this work. I'm going to figure this out. Before you know it, all the red is just gonna be gone. There's not going to be any red left. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, it went over a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to let it sit here for a little bit. Maybe I should move the cards over here just a little bit. It's so sticky. It's so sticky. Let's see. It might be impossible to get it to cover the entire thing. I just don't know. What if I stick it down again? Would that ruin it? I don't know. Actually, I think it'd be kind of cool to see what would happen if I did this with the black one. What would happen if I use all the remnants on the black one? Because I have not tried the black one yet. I want to see what happens. This is why I'm doing this. I'm experimenting. I'm figuring this out. Ooh. I actually really like the way that looks. I think all of these will work for hand lettering in some capacity. The black one's really cool though. I want to try more with the black now. So I may have accidentally just put two sheets in there. I did not mean to do that. Um, well, one of these is going to be ruined. Maybe I can save it. Pull it off. I think red and white could be cool. I'm really worried that I'm just gonna run out of red. I don't know how much is in here. Let's try the white and see how the white looks on the black. Because I haven't used any white yet. It would also be cool to see if I can make a pink because Spider Gwen's colors are pink and it'd be cool if I can make like a painting color that matches Spider Gwen. I don't know if it'll mix like that though. Actually, this would look really pretty on a white one. I might use a white one for this. Oh, I am never gonna get this. Well, I'm glad I prepared for a mess because this is definitely a messy project, but it's a fun one. All right. We could do Miles Morales, because his theme is specifically black and red. So much of this gets caught on the sticks, though. I feel like I'm losing a lot of paint doing that. Oh, hey, but it looks up. It looks really, really cool, though. Let me look at the other Spider-Man color theme, specifically Gwen's. I want to see what Gwen's... And I have pink Posca pens, so it's not like I can't... It's, it's not like I don't have any pink materials that I couldn't use for this. It's too much blue. It needs it needs white. It needs more white. I'm gonna let it fall this time. I'm not gonna let it fall this time. Got it, finally! Finally didn't get dunked in. It actually looks pretty good to me. I want to try another one with the blue and the white theme, but I want to use the black this time. Blue and white. Let's add a limited amount of blue this time. I don't know if I'm supposed to be moving it around or not. Didn't fully read the instruction manual. Ooh, that actually looks really nice. Can you see what would happen if I use purple and the yellow? Because I haven't used the other colors yet, and I should probably use them just a little bit. Plus, I haven't gotten to see the purple at its full potential yet, and I would really like to see it at its full potential. Okay, it's giving me Agatha Harkness vibes, which in itself isn't a bad thing. The way all this paint moves, it's just so weird. I think I'm gonna pull it out fast. Ooh, ooh, okay, actually. 
Actually, though, actually, that looks so cool. I haven't even tried the green yet either. I think I'll try dipping it in another time as well, because dipping it in again sounds really, really interesting. Ooh, I like the look of this already. I don't care how this one turns out. I don't care if there's any white areas. This one's going to be epic. And pull it out. Yo. Okay, this is the best one. I want to see what happens if I dip the excess. Like, there's not a lot in there. And I want to see what happens if I put another one in there. For this part as a TikTok. Because I want this part in the TikTok video. So you guys will see the TikTok version of this as I record. I think I might use the clear one for this. Let's see how the clear works. Oh, wait a minute. That is so cool. You guys see that? You're just completely absorbed into it. And the way it works is just so weird. And pull it up and out. Nice. I'm gonna need new gloves soon. Why is the blue so overpowering? Can I just ask why? Why is the blue such a powerful color? Like why? Why? Why is it so powerful? It needs more purple, more pizzazz, more purple. Yes. I just wish it was a darker blue. I don't think. I think it's just because there's not a dark blue. If there were a dark blue, this would be perfect. But there's no dark blue. So I'm gonna have to live with what I have. I feel like that was too much white. How does it look? Oh, barely anything. All right. All right. That did basically basically nothing. I can still use it somehow. I can still use it. I tried the green and the black. I haven't tried the green with the black yet. Ah! Do you see that? Ew. 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 That's nasty. I wonder if I could dunk it in a second time. Make it have multiple layers. Again, I'm not going to do any mixing. I'm just going to dunk it in and see what happens. I have discovered something new. does it look? Yo! Oh, that's so cool. This just makes it look so interesting. Ooh, nice. I like that. I might leave this one as is, actually. Do it again. Nice, all right. I like that, but it needs, it needs more red. It needs more swirls. It needs, it needs more. And, all right, that looks good. And now I'm going to, oops, it already went in. Okay. Just go on in there. Ooh. I have one left. I have liquid acrylic ink. And I have no idea if this will work. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I don't think it works. It does create a little bit of a texture. Okay, so acrylic ink does not work. It does not mix with this all that well. Unk number four or five. Lost count. I have no idea what just happened, but I noticed there was a lot of gold pigment building up in here. So I thought I can dunk this blue and white one into here. See what happens. Maybe I can make it blue and yellow. I dunked it in and somehow it turned pink. Okay, I'm switching over to voiceover now because the entire rest of this video is literally just speed paint form because I spent so much time working on the rest of this. I was so focused on it. I just didn't really have that much time to talk during making these sections of the video. Plus, I was recording this over multiple days and a lot of these are in a lot of shorter segments. So again, it's just a lot easier for me to do it in speed paint form. Everything had all dried. So this is just the part where I started working on just the word art. I had like 25 of these, I believe, in total. And there were a lot of words I had to do. I didn't want any of them to be the same. So I kept trying to come up with ideas for like different comic book words. I was thinking of mostly like the verbal word sound effects that you see when you look at comics and stuff. I looked at a lot of like word, like comic book style word art on Pinterest. I looked at comic books. I decided to look back at a lot of like old video games and things like that, old TV shows, a lot of those action shots where you would see where they just do a huge action shots and cartoons and stuff where they have the word art show up when there's a fight scene. I thought that would be really cool. This was the scariest part of the video because I am not great at hand lettering. I don't know what it is. Hand lettering has never been my forte. I like doing it. I just feel like I'm not good at it. I feel like I'm not good at spacing out letters. I always either make it too small or I make it too big and I underestimate the size of everything. So I get a little bit nervous when I do word art like this, but I wanted to do it for this one. I think by far the biggest challenge out of all of this though was just to come up with enough words. Like there were a whole bunch of words that I knew I wanted to do. I was like, okay, I have all these options. I can start with making these. I can start with the word bang. Oh, look at me cutting into my own voiceover. I am very proud of myself. Look, it's law. That bang had to be the first one I do. Bang had to be the first. That had to be the first one. I am a massive Cowboy Bebop fan. You can't just not have a bang in there. I'm just saying, as a Cowboy Bebop fan, I need to have bang. That has to be the first one. That is one of Spike Spiegel's best lines. It's one word. It's just, it's just him pointing his finger to the sky or his gun. He does it multiple times in the show. He just says bang and it's really cool. It's awesome. I just had to do it. The bang one is my 
favorite one. It's the first one I made, and it's my favorite one because of that. Go Spike Spiegel. Love Cowboy Bebop. And now back to your regularly scheduled voiceover. In terms of the materials I used, I wish I did use the metallic pens a little bit more, but I was finding that as I tried to use the metallic pens on the one that says, I believe it says Blam, I think it was that one. That was the only one where I tried to use the metallic paint pens. And when I started using the metallic paint pens on these, I quickly realized it doesn't really pop or show up the way that I was hoping or the way that I really wanted it to. It didn't really evoke the comic book art style that I was trying to go for. I decided to end up mostly just using the black and the white paint pens. They really, really pop. They really give that, ooh, comic book really, really cool pop style of art that I was trying to go for. I was so impressed with the white pen. I use the white pen on every single one. The white pen is so, so nice. It comes out so smoothly. It's so opaque. It fills out so well. I didn't feel like I was destroying the paper or anything while using it, except for on the Osborne one. On the Osborne one, I don't know why. Maybe I used the wrong side of the black paper. I don't know. For some reason, I was doing that one. The paint pen did rip up the paper, and I know that is a common thing that paint pens do do. Paint pens are wonderful, but they don't like actual paper all that much. If you're using something with a slicker surface, like if you're using poster board, it works great. They work great on wood. They work really well on canvases. They work great on all sorts of other stuff, but Posca pens and other paint pens really eat away paper. So these didn't work the absolute greatest on the black paper, but they worked incredibly on the white poster board and the clear sheets. Unfortunately though, because I was using the white pen so, so much for this, I did end up running it out. So what I did next after I ran out of the white paint pen was I just switched over to using my white Poscas, which I have like three of, and I started using those. And now that I've finished everything, I'm almost out of all of the paint in those as well. And then eventually I also ran out of the Poscas. And at the very, very end of the video, I ended up switching to using white acrylic paint because I was just completely out. Okay, and then shortly after this, my cat Gemma decided she wanted to play with all of the art materials specifically the paint pen. So like the next few clips of footage are literally just videos that I filmed while Gemma was playing with the paint pen on the table having the absolute time of her life. It's, it's pretty cute and great that I'm not the only one who got to enjoy these supplies because clearly she's enjoying them too. this entire stack of all this comic book word art. It's finally done. There's a lot here. I think there's around, I think there's maybe 26 of these here. I think I have either 25 or 26 of these. So there's a lot of them here. Each one is different. There's no repeating words. Each one is a different word. And I think they all look pretty cool.
was all of the art that I made with this box. Again, there's a lot of them. I got this little shot here of a whole bunch of them just piled up on top of each other. I think it looks really cool. It lets you see the variety in designs that I got, everything that I made here. I just really like it. I think it turned out to be a really, really fun project with everything that I made here. Every single one is unique. They all look different. They're all so bright and colorful. I love it. This box was awesome. Again, I, ended, I did use everything. I didn't use all of the metallic paint pens, but I did use a little bit of them and I definitely used the black and white. And I gotta say, these paint pens are some of the best paint pens I've ever used. Far better than Posca. So much more opaque. They're so much thicker. They aren't watery. These four artist markers are absolutely amazing. I love them so, so much. If they have more colors of these, I will switch these being my default because they are so, so nice. And then as for the marble paint, I used most of it up. I still have a little bit of like the green, the purple, and I think I have a little bit of the yellow left as well. The blue, the red, the white, those are mostly gone because I used them the most. They worked pretty well. They served their purpose. They were pretty sticky. They're really hard to get off, but they were very pigmented and really, really nice to work with. So I liked them for this project. And of course I went and I used all the paper. All the paper's been used. I don't have any extras. I lined up some of my favorites that I made here on the sides just so you can see them. You can tell which ones are my favorites. It was just a really fun box. That was everything that came in it. I didn't want to try to pull out and lay out all of the marble paints to try and make it look fancy. It just didn't feel like it. Plus it's impossible to touch them now without gloves because they are just really, really sticky because they're covered in paint. It just would have been too much work to try and get them to lay down and I was worried about them spilling because I'd knocked them over quite a few times. There was, there was a lot of stuff that went on with those paints. They worked great, just really messy. That is it. That is everything that came in the May Smart Art Box. Thank you for watching the video the entire way through. Remember, if you do like this sort of content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined to see more stuff like this on my YouTube channel or my TikTok or anything else you may want to see. And I'll see you all in my next video. I wanna be